All right, we're back. Trying to put it together again. All right, get all my parts. I lost all my parts. Yeah, not quite. I used to have everything laying everywhere. First thing I need to grab this. Trinity plate to frame. Let's see if this thing will go in there. Yeah, it went in, but tight. But it went in. That's all that matters. And we got these other ones here. To get them started going straight. You can have a little bit of tension on them lightly force them, but don't cross thread them. Cross threading is bad. This one's just tight enough, it just can't go by hand. longer winded because we put a longer bolt in it. Just bring it down until it touches. Nothing super tight or anything. <clears throat> Time it comes out, I'll see marks, thread marks left on the plate. I'm going to rat tail file and grind it out, and then the bolts are going a lot easier next time. Down. Okay. Bolts are pretty long. All right. Find my fifth bolt too, wherever it disappeared to.
torque on it. tight for a mock-up. Okay, that's pulled in. Should be a coarse bolt someplace. Probably this little small one here. It could be this little small one here. This little small one here. Or maybe this one here that has all the stuff on it. That's a 516 still, so it's too short. Here's a nice long one here. Probably I like that one better. Yes, the fifth bolt. Not super tight, but it's in. Okay, now the transmission is mounted. Let's go ahead and adjust it. Actually, should put the inner primary together real quick so it's out of the way. So that's these little small bolts right here. Shifter shaft's easy to deal with. It's mounted. Neutral. Go. Very important to be neutral. Okay, one bolt in. That's a Five sixteenths there. easier and started start this one which is kind of hard This one you can see, so I don't want to put a stupid Allen in there. I don't like Allens anymore. I have to use them. And I don't have to use it here. Use the hex out. It's just fine. Okay. Where's my wrench go? Right here. Apart here, real quick. There's my half inch socket. And the bucket. And I have good access to it, that's why. Back to it on this one. Which is going to sit there, it looks like. Okay, not tight, but there. Alright, now for the fun part. How close do we get on the hole over here? First, we need an Allen. Tighten it up with a little stubby one right there. Which might not be long enough to even get in there. Yeah, it's close. Okay, how close are we to bolt? Looks like we're pretty close. Close enough to get in there. 
Now we got the fish washers through the darn down through here, which is going to be really interesting to do. We'll have to deal with that later. Oh, I think I put a lot bigger hole in here to put a washer through here. It's big enough to put a washer through it, which would be a lot easier way of doing it. We'll see. Okay, that's in there where it belongs. This is going to sit basically about here. Get about a half a finger there, a little bit tighter on the top. So theoretically, it could go up a little bit. Except these bolts over here won't let you do that unless you slot something out. So. Let's see what we got for clearance. Yeah, that's the only clearance we got, so we'll go all the way up and tighten. A little bit closer to the top than the bottom. So if I want it more than that, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, slot some holes out. So see, see the gap there, see how it's closer up here than down here. Eventually we'll put a weld tab right here for that bolt. So if I go in here and slot the holes out a little bit, I can rotate this up slightly, which will get it more centered, but if it needs to be. If it doesn't hit anything, it doesn't need to be raised up. But that will help us here in the oil tank, because I'm sure it's way off still on the oil tank. Because we didn't do anything about fixing that problem yet. Still got lots of issues to deal with. Okay, let's go see what our belt is. Get to adjust the transmission. It's a little tight, so I still gotta go forward further. Okay, so these bolts can go further forward still. This system here slides forward and you pull back. First you get the belt on. Close. There it goes. Okay, that's on. So you get some slack in our belt right now. Where's my screw at? We're going to adjust this back a little bit over here to get the slack where we want it to be. You want to have just a little bit of slack, but not a lot. A little tension on the screw. Tension on the screw. Okay, the screws both have tension. Now if you tighten one screw more than the other, it should lightly twist the tranny straight if it needs to be. Seems to be pretty even right now. Quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, not too bad, I like a little slack but not quite that much, eighth of a turn, and now I want a quarter on that side when I'm going to do an eighth. That's runnable there. It's good enough for mock-up anyway. OK, 
Okay, so that's not too bad. All right, so the shiny plate does work. So I'm just pulling these bolts back right here a little bit at a time. And then we go ahead and tighten those down. Now these might vibrate out of here because there's nothing really retaining those. I'm just unscrewing and coming out. So they might actually vibrate and disappear. If you don't have some kind of retention device on them, they probably will disappear. Harleys do shake. That they do. Okay, where is my wrench at? Okay, so I'm going to tighten up the plate underneath. Transmission to plate now. It's five bolts. Four studs and one bolt to tighten up. And the fifth bolt over here. There it is. Tight. Built to actually loosen up slightly. I think the clutch up a little loose too. Yeah, this nut's not tight. There, tighten it up. That's about right now. When I put that together for real, it'll be good. Okay, so there's where the transmission is going to set. Right there, we have a little bit of, about a quarter inch clearance the back of the frame there, which is good. Okay, so now we know where this is all at. Where's our clutch arm at? Here's our clutch arm. Goes on there, where it's sitting at right now, I'm not sure. Where's our nut? There's our nut. Okay. It's at the rear right now. There's our nut. thread. First thread is still a little goofy. Nice big flange nut so it's got good support, especially if you have loose hex. Okay, so now see how the, the whole shaft goes up. See we're not hitting here. It's an internal thing. Something's not quite right on the inside of this training. So I might move this up a little higher again. I might not. I don't know. We got really good clearance over here. So we're not even close to hitting there, which means it's going to be close to the oil tank. All right, so training all looks pretty good. So we got a lot of gap clearance in that. Where's that plate at? If we're even remotely close to what we think we're going to need. My guess is nope, because we're still hitting here. I didn't cut anywhere near enough distance. Looks like I'm going to have to cut almost completely over to here to get clearance. Because I know we were hitting before. We might actually be hitting on this plot here, which means I'll cut this. I'm not going to cut this. I'll cut this anyway if I have to. So I'm not sure exactly where this is going to wind up being at. But my guess is that we're hitting really heavy on this. And we're going to have issues. So that I am sure about. All right, let's go ahead and put the oil tank up in here, and then we'll see much more grinding we're going to do because we are going to do some more grinding guarantee you that those parts are not fitting yet not even close but we're getting there all right what did i do with the oil pan oh, on the floor good place for it on the floor okay i gotta take this this bracket off I know it ain't gonna fit. Well, let's go, let's do a mock up with this bracket and see if we're even close. Because the Harley bracket might be different than this bracket. 
Alright, coming from the right side. Melt it in the front first. Slide it across. And yeah, we're hitting all those same spots again. So we're hitting on the case hard right there. Oop. That needs to come over a quarter inch. See the quarter inch difference there? Because that was sitting flush before. So. And we need to go forward a lot. So we still got to make a big notch on the plate too. So. So we got multiple things we got to cut. We got to cut the case away here, up under there, and lots of stuff that's going to get trimmed. Okay, so I'm going to do. I'm going to trim the case away. Basically, needs to go in flush. Yeah, it's got to go more than flush here. That's got to cut back a little bit, and then notch it way up over to there. I'll give you a felt tip pin to mark it. Used to be one up here. Yeah, we got one up here. All right. Nice and tools where they belong. Put a little bit of mark right there so we know where it is. It's going to go forward too, so it's going to be way up here at least. We are almost a full hole off. So it's going to go at least that far over. Notch it straight over. Alright. And the plate's going to have to be notched basically full depth. So we'll just cut this here all the way to the edge. So that ought to be cut. Okay, so there you go. It's a bolt in. Eventually. So there's the cutting we're going to have to do right there. Now this is just a real uh, reinforcement web for the inner primary, which we're not really running. So we don't really need it. Remember the stock bikes don't even have an inner primary. All we need is enough bolt here to support our, our support plate. And the bolt is way up inside there someplace, so I can cut that thing straight across here, no problem. So that's probably what we're going to do. Cut straight across with a big grinder. Cut the piss out of that thing. All right, I'm going to get some tools. We'll be back.